Hello everybody. It's Danielle. It's been a while since I did a YouTube video just for myself. But uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, two different uh, children's apps that I've been trying out. Um, first one is Epic Book and the second one is Amazon Free Time. Uh, so if you're like me, um, you don't really want your kids to turn into YouTube zombies. Uh, you want them to have educational content and educational videos, but you also want them to do their summer reading. So um, I found that um, in order to reduce clutter, I really like doing the ebooks. But the issue with um, that is that the ebooks on, say, like a Kindle or a Nook, they're not very colorful. They're not very appealing to um, my child. So I prefer to do the ebooks in um, the tablet. And my own, my tablet is the iPad. Um, so, you know, I did Overdrive from the library. I did um, Tumble Books. Um, only thing about that, they're a little limited in the um, the selection of books. So I decided to do the um, the free trial of Amazon Free Time and also of Epic Books. And I like both of them, but I like them for two different things. So um, first one is Epic Books. Uh, I do like Epic Books and the fact that you can assign titles to your kids. I like that they have videos as well as books. I like that they have uh, the immersion uh, reading, which means that um, the book can, you can read the book along with the book actually reading with you. I like that. And one thing I like Epic Books for is basically for keeping a log of your uh, summer reading titles because the Epic Books, once the kid reads the book, it keeps track of how much time they've been on there and um, which books they actually read. So I do like that. Um, the only thing I don't like about Epic Books is that um, the actual popular titles are a little, little limited. So um, my son likes Pete the Cat, and I think there were only like three titles on there. Uh, so I'll probably keep Epic Books throughout the summer, but I probably won't keep it after the summer is over, after the summer reading program's over, because um, just the simple fact that um, the title choices are a little limited. I can't just pick a whole bunch of Peek the Cat books or um, another one my, my, my son likes is um, Click Clack Moo, um, Snowy Day, Ezra, which is Ezra Jack Keats. That wasn't even on there. All, that whole, none of that series is on there at all. So um, that is the main reason why I would not stick with epic books outside of the summer. Um, I am an Amazon Prime member, so um, I also did do the Amazon free time, free membership, and I actually think I'm going to keep it um, past the summer uh, because I believe it's uh, only $2.99 per month after the free trial via Prime member. And the one thing I like about um, Amazon free time, even though, well, I'll say this first thing I will say is a con that it's not very user friendly. Uh, the selections are of of the content is kind of all over the place. Uh, if you don't actually type in search for whatever you're looking for, it, it, it's not very intuitive. So, but they do have more of the selection. And not only that, being that I'm a Prime member, if I download a, um, a, a Prime book on my account, I can actually share it with my kid on their free time. So I know there is a Pete the Cat title that is a part of Prime Reading. I downloaded it on my end and then I just shared it with my son so he has more content. Uh, also, I like that um, they have some, some of the videos my son likes. I don't really like um, the Ryan series, but I'd rather him watch Ryan on Amazon. Um, and Ryan is um, through Pocket Watch. Ryan, Ryan's Toy Review, Ryan's World, a uh, little, little kid that um, does all kinds of stuff with his parents. Um, my son um, came across that on YouTube. And I much prefer him to look at it on Amazon free time than to look at it on YouTube. So I'm actually going to use the Amazon free time to replace the YouTube on my son's tablet. And so that he doesn't get it because YouTube is just wide, wide open. And um, I've tried YouTube kids. I didn't like it. It's still too wide open, even with um, just the kid content. It's just endless, endless like videos whereas um 
Amazon free time and even at the books, it's kind of like you have a limit. One thing I like about Amazon free time is that you can go to um, certain popular characters. So you could do PBS Kids, you could do Nick, you could do Disney, um, you can look up Pete the Cat, you can look up, um, my son really likes Blippi, they got the, all the Blippi videos on there, and again, Blippi is another character that's um, a, a YouTube channel, so that's on there, and he can watch it, but it's not like it's wide open, so um, I guess my advice would be if um, you are a parent and you're looking for um, a kid to have um, access to summer reading, my advice would be to do Epic Books for the summer and then um, Amazon free time outside of the school year. Um, again, oh, on top of that, with Amazon free time, you actually, the parental controls I like, they're really good. You can put time limits on it and you can also make it so that in order for um, the child to watch video content, they have to do a certain amount of reading first. So I said it so, okay, he has to do read for 15 minutes, read a book for 15 minutes before you start watching videos. And it's also set where it turns on at 7 a.m. and turns off at 8 p.m. So it's not like you're there all, all day, every day, just on a computer or a tablet. So that's one thing I like about um, Amazon free time as well. So that's kind of why I'm, I'm gonna stick with Amazon free time. I know that um, a lot of people, I've read reviews actually prefer Epic Books um because the amazon free time i will admit it's not as intuitive you would actually have to help your kid in search or um uh search for the title so that it could pop up at the top but um i just like the parental controls i like that i could share um my books with them my prime books with them the ones that are appropriate and i like that you can set time limits and you also can set where you have to read a book for a certain amount of time before you can um, go ahead and watch um, the PBS Kid videos or the Nick Jr. videos, et cetera. Um, I hope this is helpful um, and I hope you all have a good day.